Hey, hi trailer traders. I'm going to do a quick weekend video of some of my, the stocks that I'm watching. I'm going to start with the ones that are uh, extremely high RSIs and uh, how I look at them at this point in the markets. <clears throat> to the long side, Google here, uh, I still see some more upside here going into the markets. Uh, like I have posted on uh, TradingView, uh, I see 1160 on Google before earnings. So uh, that's uh, still another $20, uh, right, around, right around another $20 higher here before earnings. And that could, they can do that in just one day so easily. So. <clears throat> Amazon's a little different story here. It's running into some resistance uh, on the weekly and the daily time frames. So just keep this one in mind here that uh, we may have topped that going into earnings. And um, if anything, we're probably going to see a lot of chop at this uh, these levels. Okay, Home Depot here. I still see we have more room to go higher here. Uh, about to, to the uh, 210 level before earnings. So that's one you want to be careful about shorting because, uh, you know, we got another eight or about eight dollars or so upside before any type of resistance, which could easily be done within a day. Uh, another one I want to talk about is your FedEx that goes in line with uh, uh, Amazon. Expectations are very good for Christmas. If you notice, it came right up into monthly resistance. Now, this here is my shorter time frame. But that's actually monthly resistance, those double candles there. And we're right back to that area right now. We're right back at the tops on uh, FedEx. And that is a monthly resistance area. So I'm kind of thinking this is going to have a lot of difficulty going higher until the actual numbers hit the, hit the tape from earnings. <clears throat> I'm looking at Best Buy. And it's like a lot of the other retailers, just completely on fire here. Uh, we are uh, right into some resistance here on our weekly time frame. So just keep that in mind. we got overlapping uh, our values right here at this level. So that's a, a little bit stronger case for resistance. So just keep that in mind for your best buy that short term we might have some calls consolidation or sell off. Caterpillar. Uh, that's another one that's a uh, <clears throat> is a little lofty right here and with what's happened this past week with Boeing coming down because of the Alcoa numbers <clears throat> This is kind of in the same camp there, but not exactly the same. So just keep this one on your watch list uh, a watch um, I would be very careful about adding to the long side if we do get any sort of uh, correction the, this area here is likely to get hit first Lowe's is another one which I'm thinking we're probably into some uh, near-term resistance. Now keep in mind, you got your even $100, $200 numbers and stuff, and we haven't done a backtrace on that yet. So uh, just keep this in mind, we are into a fifth fan zone resistance that we just went into. So it wouldn't surprise me one bit to see us come back and retest 100, uh, 101 or something like that uh, this week. So keep that one on your radar. Another chart which I wanted to show, which we came across, uh, all-time records for the longest period of days without a 5% correction. You got 386, 394 days. Right now, we're at 395 days. So, this is logically the time in uh, history, especially with the main earnings season kicking off this week, and we have the government shutdown that we would see a 5% correction in the markets. So just keep this one in mind. Uh, there's no guarantees that's going to happen. But uh, whenever you get to extremes like this, uh, they you know they tend to whip all back. You know how it all works. So be very careful with the, your long positions. Wind Resorts reports earnings Monday morning. So be sure and keep Alibaba on your radar because if wind comes out with extremely strong numbers and starts to rally, the Chinese stocks in general are likely to catch a lot of interest. Baba for one, Baidu for two, and if you could tell, we're not really into uh, some uh, 
in our, within our FID fans. We do have room that we can run within our FID fans. So just keep this in mind on Baidu. Uh, another one that's been a really popular trader here lately, and that's your NTs, Anetis. And we are right at trend support right here. So this would be a logical long, long entry for NTs. So uh, that's uh, some ideas I wanted to float with you guys. Keeping my video short here, uh, you can uh, <clears throat> contact me if you want to be a part of my group or, or anything. Uh, leave a message. Uh, thanks a lot, and uh, see you next week.